Hi friends, Anne McKinnell here. Thanks for joining me today. So today I want to show you Topaz Mask AI, which is a program that I use to create um, complex selections and it allows me to really easily remove a background from my photo. So I can replace it with a texture or a different background or whatever it is that I want to do. So let's dive in. So this is the image that we're going to be looking at today. Uh, this is the finished image. So I'm just going to uh, turn off these layers and show you the original image as it was captured. So most of my um, animal photos are wildlife, wild animals, but this particular photo I took at the uh, Desert Museum which is uh, sort of an outdoor, you know, a zoo kind of a place that's near Tucson, Arizona. Kind of glad I'm not this close to an actual mountain lion or cougar as we call them up here in Canada. So what I want to do um, is remove this background because as you can see, it is very busy. So before we get started with Topaz Mask, I do want to let you know that you can do this in Photoshop. Uh, of course, you can do everything in Photoshop, but I find it to be a little bit, it's just less forgiving and more difficult. And, um, you know, that's why we have plugins to make particular tasks a little bit easier. So I'll quickly show you, you know, you could go and uh, get your quick selection tool and you can just go select subject which does a surprisingly good job so it's going to you know select just about everything here and you can um, you know modify this selection and you know make it a little bit better and then you can go into select and mask and further refine it from here but again I find that you have to be uh, it's just less forgiving, I guess, is the way to put it. Uh, the whole task I find a lot easier to do in Topaz Mask, especially because um, my hand is a little bit shaky, and so I find that Topaz Remask, or Topaz Mask AI, as they're calling it now, um, does a better job of just calculating exactly where the edges are, even though my hand is a little bit shaky when I'm doing it. So I'm just going to cancel out of here. I'm going to deselect this and now what I'm going to do is try this out in Topaz Mask. So I'll go filter Topaz Labs and I have so many filters in here I have some lots of really old stuff I need to get rid of here but I am going to go Topaz Mask AI. So while this is loading up, I'll tell you that um, there's a little bit of a difference between Topaz Remask and the new Topaz Mask AI in that it has some more options as far as the background. You can actually replace the background right in Topaz Mask and it has a neat feature about blurring the background as well. So you don't have to have Photoshop to use this. You can use this as a standalone application and use those other options now to um, get your background the way you want it to be. Okay, so Topaz Mask is super easy to use. You basically have three colors to work with. The green is what you want to keep, the red is what you want to cut, and the blue is the area where you're going to outline your subject and Topaz Mask will compute exactly where the edge should be. So all we're going to do is go around here with the blue brush and outline our subject. Um, for, both the, for all of these colors you have a brush and a paint bucket tool to use. So I'm going to pick the blue brush and I'm going to bring my brush size down and I'm going to just increase the size of my image here so I can see a bit bigger, a bit better. And then I'm just going to go around here and brush in the area along the edge of my subject. Okay. The thing I really like about Topaz Mask is that it does this computation so even though my hand is, you're not sure if you can see it in the video, but I'm a little bit shaky here. Um, 
it's going to figure this out. So it, I don't have to be perfect. I can just kind of go around the edge and it's going to figure out all of these little hairs and all, all the edge of everything. Okay, and the pan. Like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to go along the edge. Okay. Now, there's also an area right in here I want to do. So I'm just going to go in like this, go along this edge, and we'll worry about that whisker a little bit later. Okay. So I'll pick the red paint bucket and just drop that in there. And now I'm going to zoom out again. And with the red paint bucket, I'll go along the edge all around the outside. Okay. So that's pretty much our big task here. I'm going to go compute mask. And now Topaz mask is going to figure it out. Okay, there we go. So now I can uh, here I'm going to look at show one window. So I just want to show the one thing here. And I can look at, this is the original, there's what the mask looks like right now. And this is what I'm going to keep. And that's what is being cut. Okay. So how I like to do this is I go into keep and then I'm going to change the background and put a solid color on here. And that helps me just see if there's any anything I want to fix before I create this mask for good. Okay, so I am going to choose uh, background and color. And I am going to pick, you know, maybe just a yellow. Pick a yellow, that looks good. I'll go okay. And I'm going to zoom in here. And I'm just going to take a close look at some of these edges. Okay, so I'm just going to go along. And then one thing you can do here also is go into this edge refinement. And I can define how hard and soft I want the edge to be. Um, I often like to shift the edge in a little bit. So I'm going to take this and just move this down, shift this edge in a little bit. And I don't know if you could see that move there. And that just, you know, will we'll get rid of any little halo or anything like that that's going to happen. I don't want it to be too much, just a little bit. Okay. So now I'll go back to my mask. And what I'm going to do is just refine this anywhere where it isn't exactly what I want it to be. Okay. And I can go, you know, if I, if I want to, I can get it to, you know, recompute an area if I want. I can just color over it like that with the blue tool and it'll take another stab at it. Okay. So that's one thing you can do. What I usually do is take this, um, either the red or the green, and I make my brush size very small. And you don't have to be perfect. You can just come in, see there's a little area in here that I want to be removed. So I'm going to go with the red brush and I'm just going to tap it there. And see it took that out. Do it again. Okay. Now I'm going to go keep because I remember that this whisker went over here a little bit. So I'm just going to try and see if I can do this. I'm not sure if this is going to work or not, but I'm going to go like this and see if it's going to bring that whisker in. Oh, a little bit too much. So maybe I'll try compute. I'm not sure if this is going to work here, but let's just see if I can get it to try a little bit harder on that whisker. Oh, well, it's a little bit better. Okay. I can always uh, refine this more in Photoshop too. So I'm just going to continue doing this. Any areas that uh, not are not exactly what I want it to be, I can just go and easily refine it here. So there's a little bit right here. I'm going to take the red and I can just even just draw a little line like that. See, and it just completely figured that out. 
So I'll go pan, look around these edges some more. Now I can see there's a little bit right here that isn't exactly perfect. So I'm just going to go along the edge a little bit like that. And there we go. Pan. Oh, here's a little bit more right here. Okay. What else? I think that looks pretty good. I'm not quite sure what this is. Maybe I can go back and look at my original and I click the show try map. Oh yeah, well that's part of the wood, so I'm going to leave that there. There's that whisker. Okay. All right, so this is the way I want it to be. So now what I'm going to do is click apply. And it's, oh, actually, let me cancel this here. I did want to show you something else. Uh, on the background, okay, so right now I had this color. And another thing I, I do sometimes is change the color. Change the color and then that, you know, I can see sometimes more than I could on, on a certain color. But one thing that's really cool here about Topaz Mask is that it has these other options here, Blur and Image. So let's take a look at Blur. So Blur is bringing in my original background and just blurring it. So that's a great option if you don't have Photoshop and you want to just do this all in Topaz Mask. Um, you know, here's the original, okay? And you can choose how much you want to blur that. You know, I could go all the way up and make it, you know, and, and that gets rid of the distracting background as well. Now that's maybe too much. Okay, so another thing you can do here is image and you can upload an image. So if you have a texture background that you want to bring in, you can do that right here in Topaz Mask. All right, so now we're going to hit apply. Okay, and so I still have my background on here. That's why you can, you're still seeing the original. So this is the one that I just made. Okay, this one above it is the one that I made before I started the video. So one thing I like about this is that when it creates the mask, you have all of your options are still open. So even though I'm finished with Topaz Mask now, I can still in Photoshop change that mask if I want to. And as you can see, I'll turn this one off and turn my other one back on. I did change the mask because I decided I wanted to bring in a little bit more of this other branch here. Okay, so I did change the mask after. So let's, I'll just leave this one on, the one that we just did. And now I'm going to turn on the background that I created. And I also created a, um, a foreground to cover up some of these green leaves that I didn't want to be in the final image. Okay, so there you go. I'll turn this one off again and back to my original where you can see that I brought in some of this other little branch here just to make it all look more natural. So you can see how easy that was to do. Um, like I mentioned before, you can do it in Photoshop. I just find it harder. Um, so if this is something that you like to do, I've been doing it a lot since I've been getting into digital art. And uh, if this is something that you like to do a lot, or if, if you have a bit of a shaky hand like I do, I think that you'll really appreciate how easy this is to do using Topaz Mask. I'll put a link in the description below so you can get more information and buy Topaz Mask if you want. And also, if you use the coupon code McKinnell, you can get 15% off. Um, that coupon code works for anything in the Topaz Labs store. Okay, thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.